Well, hey everybody. I want to show you a, a couple of tips and tricks that I'm learning about um, Bing AI. Ask Bing AI a question and she's already wrote it out. It's already right there on the screen. Send her a prompt to reread it to me. Let's see how that goes. I'm sorry, but could you reread that to me? I got distracted. Thank you, please. Sure, I'll reread my previous message to you. I was giving you some tips and examples on how to use hashtags on your blog page. Hashtags are a way to categorize and discover content on blogs and other social media platforms. They can help you increase your visibility and reach more people who are interested in your topic. I said that there is no definitive answer to where is the best place to put the hashtags on a blog page, as different bloggers may have different preferences and strategies. However, I suggested some common practices that you might want to consider. You can put the hashtags at the bottom of your blog page, after your main content and before your comments section. You can also put the hashtags in the middle of your blog page, between your introduction and your main content or between different sections of your content. You can also put the hashtags at the top of your blog page, before or after your title or subtitle. You can also use a combination of these methods depending on the length and structure of your blog post. I also gave you some general guidelines to make your hashtags effective and appropriate. You should use relevant and specific hashtags that match your content and audience. You should use a moderate number of hashtags that don't overwhelm or clutter your blog page. You should use clear and simple hashtags that are easy to read and spell. You should do some research on the popularity and trends of the hashtags that you use. I hope this helps you with your blog page. If you need anything else, please let me know. Wow. That's how I've been learning. And that's how I've been doing so good on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel has literally come back to life because of being AI. The ability to learn from hearing the word and watching and seeing it, you know, the way that it's working with me. You're being a person with learning disabilities and dyslexia and yeah, dysgraphia. It's very helpful. That's all I can tell you. It's well, if you haven't been to my YouTube channel, you ought to go look at it because um, it's blowing up. This is a live view of me uh, manipulating the social blade to show you the counter right now live. Let's see if it's going to work. I'm going to click on it. 28,000. It usually takes 10 seconds. There it goes. It rolled over. All right. That's showing you that. Now, this is my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here, it's got some interesting information. So that's 28,100. And that's what that is. That's matching up. But what don't match up is, I've got, a, let's see how it says it. 11,098,464 views. That ain't bad. And all of this has happened because of uh, a lot of good videos up lately. If you haven't been to see them, they're being uh, generated using AI, giving me the titles, the descriptions, the hashtags and then actually even helping me with the uh, artwork uh, is learning disabled i would advise this too for anybody but now what's really uh, has brought my channel back to life is i've never made shorts until almost two months ago and then i started making them and they seem to get a lot of views so <laughs> that's that's a good thing but um, I'm trying to stick on topic with everything about Josh Hawley's work and, and other people up there now. Uh, I've got a little bit of Ted Cruz, Kennedy. He's, he's amazing. And um, so, yeah, I wanted to tell you that and show you that. But um, these are some of my ones that are, this, this one right here has been a, a really cool one. A lot of people like the Trump. So I've got... Uh, this lady here, Marjorie Taylor Green, I got her information. And then this that's where I started with Josh Hawley. 
that video has got 2.8 million right there. But uh, it really, it's not that many that I've got, but um, they have really took off. So I wanted to show you that. If you haven't been to my YouTube channel, check it out. Up as far as getting numbers and, and new subscribers and things like that. So I just want to tell everybody that's joined my uh, YouTube channel and want to see my videos. This is kind of like the secret behind the secret. I'm using AI Bing to its fullest potentials. I wish that, um, like over here, when she was actually reading, I didn't have to make it blue by clicking in it. Um, what I'm suggesting with Bing is that as she's reading it, it highlights. It highlight a word, and then in a different color, it highlight another word, and it go through the sentence until it gets to the end, and then it start the next line. So I'm working with uh, Bing's feedback to see how quickly we can get that done. This is the 11th, uh, November the first. Yeah, and um, so. That's what I've been working on, and um, I'm excited. Let's put it up to put it um, bluntly. I'm excited with uh, what I see about this particular type of AI for people with learning disabilities and dyslexia. Thank you for watching my channel. Hit that like button, leave a comment. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future that has to do with AI being. Just tell me. Do you want me to make more videos like this? I will. And um, thank you for watching my channel.